Beautiful. I'm an urban youth studies major at the University of Rochester, and I'm also a music theory major at the Eastman School of Music. My main instrument is classical piano. And I was lucky enough in second grade here in Rochester, um, they offered piano lessons during the day. So once a week I'd go downstairs and get piano lessons right in the school. And I just loved it so much and I was able to just nurture this love of music. I want to encourage more people to have that opportunity like I did. Watch your toes. Right now we just dropped off a piano here at the Gandhi Institute for Nonviolence. Beautiful! And this is the beginning of the Pianos for Peace project. The Pianos for Peace project is an outdoor piano project here in Rochester where for about three weeks pianos are placed in different neighborhoods throughout Rochester for anyone to play. I just support creativity in all its forms and having a piano for anyone to just play, you know, that's genius. Okay, now we're gonna use three fingers. So these three? Those three. Music is like one of the best ways to get a point across ever. I like music because it entertains me and it, I just love it. What color is that? Orange. Orange. Yeah. I'm here helping the community and um, painting the piano and I hope it comes out really well. We need some more of that orange over here. Every piano is painted piece themed and that's open-ended, whatever it means to the, the community who's painting the piano. Violence is definitely something we have to address. I live just three blocks, two blocks over. Um, hard area Hudson. They call it the Crescent in the newspapers. We've had over 25 homicides just this year. Less deaths, you know, less shootouts, less sirens. Less sirens is always a good sign because that's how you know you're doing something right. You know, people too busy playing the piano to get up to no good. Music really brings people together. So just having these pianos in these neighborhoods for anyone to play just brings strangers together. People just walking by will stop and listen. So much I play clarinet, saxophone, and flute. I've been here for about a year, and I try to encourage other people to play. To be a musician, you had to be a magician. And you had to involve people into what you're doing. A lot of people don't want other people to become close to them. So they reject people unconsciously by something like that. So it's such a regal type of thing. But a baby can do this. The notes on a piano are kind of like the alphabet. I've been going around to the different pianos and giving lessons. And it's great just to see young kids and this love of learning, and this love of wanting to know how to do something, and just nurturing that. So after the three weeks that these pianos are out around the community, we're bringing them all to the Gandhi Institute for Nonviolence to create a piano park for peace. people to be able to come up to the pianos and just mess around with them, but at the same time experience a concert and see someone who's known how to play piano for a while, just to try and inspire everyone who may have just experimented with the piano or seen it and not really known what it's doing in the community. I'm really excited that the community has embraced this project and I'm excited to see how people are inspired for the future. Production of the University of Rochester. Please visit us online and subscribe to our channel for more videos.